Hello everyone, and in this video we're going to continue working with the backend of the notification API. Um, so far we have our um, basically our get, post, and delete to get a notification. We need to create two more, one to invite people to our servers, and also one to basically request to join the server. And let's start right away. So let's go to chat. Um, or server, I don't know. Let's go to servers API and then see if we can copy one of these. Mm. Yeah, we can copy this one. Let's copy this one. This um function here. Let's see, we have the decorators. Yes, permission classes is authenticated. And the JSON parser is right here. Um, and yeah, that's it. So let's call this one um, as in um, because this one is to invite to the server. Um, this one, it's to accept invitation or let's put it notification accept right um yeah let me see um now let's put accept invitation okay so we're gonna get a request and uh, an ID, right? If request method ID. So the first thing that we need to do, we need to get the um, the notification, right? So we can just we can um, put notification just like that. Notification dot objects that get, and we're gonna get the ID of the notification here, right like that, okay. Um, and then here we need also we need to get the server. So server will be equals to I import a server servers up here. You just need to import server, just like that. A server dot oops server models or right, so server that objects get <laughs> and then here we get the um, PK and if you notice in the notification model we have the server too so we can grab the ID of the server from this from the notification. So we just need to put notification dot to server dot ID, and then we grab the notification from there. Okay. So um, and yeah, and that's it. We need to um also make sure that this user um that is accepting the notification is a person that got the the um that is um the, basically the owner right so let's make this let's modify this condition if request user equals notification right notification dot to user right and uh, let's delete this basically here we're making a condition of verifying that the user that got the notification is the user that is accepting notification that's basically what we're doing here so if it's that's true we call server that members that add here invitate and notification that to user because remember 
server we get a notification that has the um, server that we want the user to join so that's it so here we just put that's true we add the user here and then we server that safe after we add the user we save that and yeah that's it so after we save the the user we don't need the we don't need a notification no more. so we can just delete it so we go here notification dot delete right and that's it um this one can be uh 200 okay let's just put it here 200 And yeah, pretty much that's it. Um, and then here we put we let's copy this one to put that request, and that's it. Um, yep. Okay, so we got the um, we got the 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 accept invitation. That's basically when we receive a notification that um, someone wants wants to invite you to the server. We send them the invitation here. Now let's create a new function. Let's copy this one and let's paste it here. This one will be to basically um, request to join the server. So let's put here request or request to join server, right? Just like that. Um, here, just like that, when I have a PK, um, and what I wanna, what I'm going to do, we're going to, um, let me see. We can just copy the, this notification. Let me just copy this one. It's better. Let me just paste it here. Right, just like that. Let me check. Okay. So we get notifications serializer, we pass the data, notification, request data. I, I don't think, yeah, we don't need this. Request data. The user basically will be the owner or the moderators of the server. In this case, I'm gonna use the um I'm gonna use the um um the, the the owner right so basically the first thing that we need we need to get the server so we can grab the um the um the owner right so to server server that i'll just request data we're gonna get to server and then to user so user that objects that get um, username, we can get the ID of the user. Let's, go, let's get it from to server that user. Let me check um, models. Um, yeah, user to user that ID, right? Basically, we grab the the to user will be the owner of the server, right? right here. And then we get it here. We get that, and um, and from user, from because in our model, remember we have from user too. So, and then here, um. You see, we can just copy this one too. 
just let's just delete this one. Oh yeah, oh it's right there. Okay, very simple. So we have to user and then to server and then request that user. And remember we have the joining request number two, and that will we'll make that in the um the front end. So we got that in yeah, I think that's it. We just save that. Let's see if that crash it. No. Okay. Okay, now let's create let's close these two and let's create a new um file here, notification. And let's call it URLs that type from Django that URLs import path and from notification that API where you can um it's just you can just call it like API like we did here. Uh, if you go to our servers or your else you can do it like this. Kind of like API dot whatever. Let's just do it that way. Okay, so URL patterns. That um, notification slash get. Um, so we're gonna have the the first one will be to basically get the notifications. So it's get notifications, right? And then here we just put um, put a slash here and then comma. API that let's go to API notification. Let me just copy this thing. Notification API, and now we just put that as view, just like we did in our in our previous API get notifications. Come here. Okay, so we got that. Um, that's to get the notifications. Now let's make the let's copy this one. Let's stay here. And basically, this one will be to um like invite the user right so we can put um create invitation that's to that's to remember to invite the user to the server copy this one we kind of the same thing comma um, uh, create Create invitation, same thing, notif API. Um, let's go here, comma. And now just um, basically the, um, the delete, right? Path notification. delete notification and here we just copy the same thing comma okay so we got our um all of these ones so now the um accept invitation so we go here, path notification slash, and this one um, basically will have an ID and let's put invitation, invitation slash 
in because we're gonna add a simple ID. So it's put in PK just like that. Um comma API dot accept invitation. Okay. Just like that. We don't need to put as view here. So comma name API accept invitation comma path notification slash invitation because now um this one will be for request to join um and um this one we don't we don't yeah we don't just put this one and request i think yeah api that request to join server comma name api request to join comma um yeah very simple um let's save that let's see if it crashes Oh, we haven't so yeah we need to um basically merge these to the um to make the migrations and all of that so let's go here to our settings here and then just put notification comma save that and now in our main urls we can just copy this one down here api slash include notification that urls we save that and now we can um let's just find the migrations oh no that's in the front end here item manage i make migrations and migrate okay um we are basically done with the back end we have all the things ready let me just go to um, notification let me add the model here so for notification that models in for notification okay i'm just going to make the notification available in the admin panel so I can see if the things get submitted and all of that. Let me just find the server. Perfect. Okay, so we got that done. Um, in the next video, we're going to work with the component of notification and all of that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.